never been falling out of bed. <laughs> okay, guys, it's day two. It's day three. But like day two of work. Oh, okay. Oh, right, it's day three. <laughs> If you guys don't know, <laughs> we are in the Yukon, <laughs> and you're a f***ing idiot. This with our hats on. <laughs> <laughs> we think we're at like a ski lodge or something. <laughs> we can, we kind of do look like we're in a sweet, like, uh, Swiss, a ski chalet. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Swiss chalet, but I meant like a ski chalet. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> we had a very long day. Brand's day was a bit longer than mine because I took off. I took off to come home and feed the cat, and um, that is a metaphor. <laughs> I don't know English. It's like this is your territory. I know. This is the Yukon territory. <laughs> but both of our days began at like seven thirty when we woke up. Right? Yeah, except I woke up at 7.15 and you yelled at me. Hey guys, it's day three. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. It's still dark outside. Zara and I are going to work. We're tired ass. We're tired ass. And we went to the Kwanlun Dunn Cultural Center. Uh, which is a beautiful facility. Oh my god, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then we went to the other venue, which was the Yukon Art Center, where they had the official opening night film. Kamalina. Our Land Beautiful, so it's about language's relationship to, like, a, you know, obviously a whole uh, group of people, to their people, to their land. The land and the language are just so intertwined, and the language is just, like, obviously such an integral part of their culture, and, like, it's dying. It was a beautiful, beautiful movie. Um, a docu like, Canadian documentary by Nettie Wilde. Yeah, it was amazing. We loved it. Okay, so then we went... It was all over, and we were just like waiting to go home, and then the wonderful Dylan, our, uh, friend. our friend Dylan from the Yukon Film Society, came bounding through the door and said that the Aurora Borealis were showing. And like, follow me! And took Yelp. off running through the woods. <laughs> I'm taking a video. Right now? Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna stay. Go stay in front of the light. We just saw the Northern Lights for the first time. Guys, we just saw the Northern Lights for the first time. <laughs> but we can't take a picture because it doesn't really work. It's just too faint. But it's so cool. We came running out. We came running out and we ran through the snow in our coats, without coats, but capes. Without coats. Yukon without coats. Yukon without coats. That's like Doctors Without Borders. Right. A different. <laughs> Oh. We also decided also that we're the Kardashians of the UK. <laughs> to our mothers. <laughs> Miriam and Cheryl. If you could say one thing to Miriam right now, what would it be? Um, be the same thing I say to her every day, probably. I love you. What's up? <laughs> what would you say to Cheryl? I would look into her eyes. I would say, Mom, love you. Aw, it's the same thing I said. No. Bitch slap her. <laughs> Bitch slap that face. What is, if you could say one thing to the, to the Northern Lights, what would you say? Love and marriage, love and marriage. Go together like a horse and carriage. This I tell ya, Murphy.